talk. What? I heard it with my own ears. I was after you. I mean, she's not talking now, but I heard her before. Right after you left for the airport, I went upstairs and I passed her room and I heard her speak. What did she say? Well, she said something like, I've got you right, I've got Quentin right where I want him. I didn't hear, I, I don't remember anything else. I, I only heard a few words, but I know she can talk. And you heard her the day that I left, but, but why didn't you tell me sooner? Well, I... Your, your car wasn't here. I tried to go after you, so I called Gracie to take me to the airport. But by the time we got there, your plane had left. Why didn't you page me at O'Hare? I tried. I tried for an hour. I had you paged, but you never picked up the phone. And then when you tried to call here, the line was busy. Because she took the phone off the hook. Rebecca did. Now, she hasn't spoken a word since. No, not a word. Uh, I thought I heard you arrive, Mr. McCord. Welcome home. Well, it's good to be home. Thank you. Nola had the time to tell you. Yes, that. yes, yes, she has. But well, we tried to contact you several times. Is Rebecca still awake? Yes, I believe she is, but surely wouldn't you like to... No, thank you, Mrs. Renfield. I'll just be a moment. Are you going up to Rebecca's room? Yes. Do you want me to come with you? No, I think that I should see her myself, at least for now. that you'll never leave me. It's over, Rebecca. Please let it be over for both of us.
I just don't understand, Mrs. Renfield. All he had to do was just go up there and talk to her. Yes, but Nola, perhaps all he's Mrs. doing Renfield, is just... I'd like a word alone with Nola, please. Well, yes, of course. Well, what did she say? Nola, Rebecca can't speak. Oh, come on. I know she can. <laughs> no. Rebecca I... Cartwright can talk. What, do you think I'm lying about this? Of course not. I know you'd never lie to me. I'm telling the truth. I heard her. I know you think you believe you did. I didn't make this up. I didn't imagine it. No, I'm not suggesting that you, you, you did it intentionally. Not at all. I think it's, a, it's, it's a, a question of you wanted it so badly, not only for Rebecca, but for you and myself, that, that you actually think that you believe you heard her speak? No, she can talk, and I'm not lying about this, and I didn't make anything up. Now listen, I, I, I don't think that. I, I believe... No, Nola, I know you... what you believe. You think that I'm just making this up to get her out of the house. Well, I want her out of this house, and I want her out of our lives so we can start a future together. I'm not lying about this. I didn't make it up. Rebecca Cartwright can talk. Nola. Nola? Nola. Okay, Mr. Court. Listen, Anthony, you know, we've been through a lot together. Don't you think you could start calling me Quint? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name's Tony. Tony. Yeah. Listen, I don't want to tell you how to run your life or, or what to do or anything, Mr. McCord, but Noah's my sister and I worry about her, you know? And I just hate seeing her put in these situations where she can get hurt over and over again, you know? <sighs> Tony, listen, I don't want to see your sister hurt either. You must know how I feel about her. But let me tell you, every time I try to tell her how I feel, or tell her how much she means to me, it always seems to come out wrong. No matter what I do, no matter what I say, I'm always doing the wrong thing. But the only thing I've accomplished is hurting her over and over and over again. And you gotta believe me, Tony. I, I don't mean to do that. No, I know you don't. Mind. I don't envy you either. Noah's not the easiest woman in the world to get along with. You know, I'm no expert on love, but I do know one thing. Listen, I'd be grateful for any suggestion you could make. Yeah, well, it's about the only thing I know about women. Uh, you gotta love them. And you gotta keep on loving them even when it hurts. Because when you stop loving them, it hurts even more. Women. <laughs> 